One of the strategies that we teach students to help them break down the text and pick topics is marking up the text or boxing off information. So you'll see on the planning here, we have our main topic as alligators and then our first topic we're gonna discuss is the species of alligators. So if we go into the text here, we're reading this area and it's talking about the different species of alligators. So we're gonna box off all of the text that talks about species of alligators and we're going to mark that as our T1 and write species next to it. That way we know when we get to this paragraph in our, in our writing that we're going to go to this box to pull information from because remember students are going to have to write quotes and they're going to have to paraphrase and pull all types of support from the text. We want to make sure it's focused and on topic. Now, in addition to, to marking that that's the topic, we also want to mark our two details, which are A and B. So you'll see here on our planning, our A is the American species of an alligator, and our B is the Chinese species of an alligator. So again, we go into this box, and we can see here, this is American, so I'm going to circle it and put A, and this is where it talks about Chinese, so I'm going to circle it and put B. Now we have our entire topic one marked up in the text. So again, when students get to this part of the essay, their topic one, they're gonna go directly to this box and know exactly where to pull in, in their information from. Moving on, if you look at topic two, it's talking about that they're a type of reptile, which is down here. I keep reading. So I'm gonna mark up all where it talks about type of reptile. That's my T2, which it goes on to the next page. So I mark T2 reptile. And then I'm going to look for my A and B. My A is cold-blooded, my B is eggs. So in the first part of T2 here, it talks about how they're cold-blooded. I'm going to circle that and put an A. And then the second part, which is our B is eggs, I'm going to circle eggs and put B. So now I have my T2 information marked up. And then my T3 is the different habitats they live in. So moving along in the text, I'll notice here it talks about habitats. So I'm going to mark off all of this as my T3 and write habitats. And then my A is freshwater, and it talks about freshwater right here, so I'm gonna put A. And then um, the different holes they create, that's my B. So now I have my entire essay marked up, um, and that way when students get to those different pieces of the essay, their support is staying focused and on topic, and they're able to pull information directly from where it talked about that topic in the text.